I want to talk a bit about power supplies and chargers um, and try and put it into layman's terms. Oh, my thumb's getting better. I want to put it into layman's terms so as anyone can understand it. Um, I'm not the best person to explain it, but this is a server power supply and it can deliver, what is it now, 106 amps at 12 volts. This needs a 12 volt power supply to run it. These need 12 volt power supplies to run it. This runs off the mains and this runs off the mains. So these two are completely separate to those. Now, if I plug that into that, that is a 1400 watt um, charger. So it can pump out 1400 watts. These, this one here is a 50 watt power supply. It says it actually says six uh, six amps there. Totally disregard that. It's the wattage you want to look at, not the ampage. That ampage is the optimal um, the optimal voltage, which I'll try and explain as well. Right, so this one's a 50 watt power supply. If I want to charge a 4S battery, which I haven't actually got. Hang on, found one. If I want to charge this 4S battery at the highest current it will take, um, I think these, if I wanted to charge this at 1C, that would be 10 amps, 1C. To charge that at 1C, that wouldn't do it and even this is an 80 watt that wouldn't do it and that's an 80 watt wouldn't do it this one in actual fact at 50 watts would charge that battery at 2.9 amps maximum when you start charging even if you do set it to 10 amps it'll come up it'll say something like 3 amps i think it is absolute maximum output of that thing is 3 amps at 16.8 volts which is what this needs that one there is 80 watt it'll charge it is it 4.7 4.8 amps absolute maximum and what you actually do is you calculate how many amps you can um, uh, charge at by taking the watts which is 80 and then divide it by the volts which is 16.8 and that gives you how many amps maximum you can pump out this one here is a very nice DIY uh, one I use for trickle charging um, don't do this please because it's it's only for, for professional dickheads like me <laughs> it's, it's rather dangerous because that's mains this runs off the mains, and again, I think this is a six. I think this is a sixty watt. So to charge that battery, um, you're probably talking about three point one amps or something like that, absolute maximum. Now, if I wanted to charge this beast, which is what I've got in my bike, if I wanted to charge that with, we'll say this one. That'll only charge it at 1.92 amps. Near enough 2 amps. That's all I can put out of that is 2 amps. So one of those batteries, it's 16 ampere hour battery, would take, if it was completely depleted, which you can never do with lipos because you damage them, if that was completely delete, depleted, that'd take... 8, 6, 9, 12, 15, 6... About six hours taking into account trickle charging. Um, so that's the way that you work out. I hope I've made sense of it. Obviously, the higher the wattage, the more you can put into batteries. Now, LiPo batteries, I only ever charge them at 1C, I never go any higher. And even these, although that's a that's 1C is 10 amps. Even this one I'll charge at 5 amps, I won't go above 5 amps. And even that, I don't go above 5 amps. Um, because it does prolong the life of the battery. 
So, taking that into account, this one here is a 75.6 volt, 2.5 amp charger, which runs directly off the mains. I've got another one which is a 4 amp charger, but I haven't got it with me at the minute. Now this, at 2.5 amps, uh, 75.6 is 189 watts that's the maximum that'll pump out now on my previous video when I took it apart if you have a look it says 240 watts on the board somewhere and it isn't it just isn't so when you buy a Chinese power supply like this which they say is four, I think it's 1400 this one is um, and it says 1400 watts, don't take, no. Because if you have a look at the, um, where is it now? So there's the fuses, and the fuses are, I think the 30s. So that's 30 amps in parallel, which is 60 amps. Now if you calculate that, of how what whatever the voltages you want to output, that is no way at 75.6 volts I'll be able to output 1400 watts on that it just doesn't it won't work it, it probably won't even pump 700 watts out to be honest oh and these things as well what's happening with these is a lot of people have, um, have basically said that oh they burn out and the heat sink doesn't get hot well what happens is you can see the FETs inside there which is basically the charge part of it what happens is, is they get so hot so quickly that it hasn't got time to transfer the heat onto this plate onto this heat sink so what happens is, is the FETs burn out um, so you have to be very careful I mean these things will do I don't know 75.6 volts they'll do about 2 amps 2.5 amps maybe 3 at the absolute most I've just noticed that's touching on there. So is it... Why is that touching on there? Oh, that's bad. And so... That is very bad. I'm annoyed at that. That inductor's actually touching the FET. So I hope that's cleared it up. Um, these eye chargers, these are, in my eyes, the creme de la creme of chargers. You just can't get anything better. They've got a USB, 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 <laughs> USB there that you can plug into a PC and you can use, I think it's LogView, um, to view all the details of whatever it's charging, live data, and you can record it onto your PC. And here there's an SD card slot where you just put an SD card in it and it will record all the data onto SD card as well. So they are absolutely fantastic. I was thinking about getting the quad one but couldn't afford it. That, that was bloody expensive. They're not easy to get used to but once you know what you're doing they are very very easy. They are the best charger by far. So you either go one of the two ways and buy an all-in-one thing that you just plug in the mains like that and I better not touch those anything on there because that's probably still charged Tony you dickhead you either buy an all-in-one thing that you just plug it in the wall and then you plug your output on those and then you've got your balance port there or you buy an all-in you get an all-in-one complete charger that just basically you just plug that in plug it into the bike or the lipo or whatever you're charging and run that or you get a power supply and as I've said this is just a converted server power supply and it was I think it was only only about seven or eight quid and you ain't gonna get much higher power than that 104 amps 106 amps you either get something like that and something like these like this one that I use or you get these I mean, you could run well you could run all of them in parallel series parallel dickhead you could run all of these in parallel fire them all up at the same time with that power supply so you could do that or you could do this this is a 12 volt power supply again but it outputs um, it's basically an inverter 
you put you take your 12 volt out of there you plug it into there and then out of there you get whatever voltage it is you've set on this pot here so there's loads of different options I did that video a while ago uh, it's when I chopped the enemy thumb off which is nearly better I chopped the enemy thumb off I had man flu and I was I was dead I, I just uh, you know life just wasn't worth living at the time uh, on the back of that there's also this thing with this thing is very very cheap I think I only paid 13 quid for this um, it's a variable current variable voltage power supply now it runs off 12 volts so you can plug it into your car uh, battery but I've got my massive server power supply here you can actually use this to charge all your batteries in the field and it's 13 quid it'll charge all of your batteries not just like a 3s 4s or, or 6s it'll do whatever voltage because it goes from 12 volts it will only go down to the voltage that they, that's input to it which is 12 volts off this but it will also go up to about 108 volts I think it is and also do the current that you want it to so if I wanted to charge these I could do or if I wanted to charge these 3s packs I could do um, it doesn't do balancing but if you're clever enough you could actually make uh, this is actually a 4S uh, BMS so you could actually get one of these and plug the leads in and everything and then just plug it into your pack into your pack how's that going there that goes in there like that and then you get these you put another plug on there to go into there and then you have your power um, you have your power coming out power going to in in like that another BMS going into that no sorry bollocks you have your power coming out going directly into that and then you put another two leads on there to go into that and then blah 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 I might show you one day how to wire one of these things up um, so as you can use it off a cheap 13 pound power supply that does everything so with that said if I wanted to charge this what I'll do is I'll plug this in where the f*** hell the plug gone Bloody hell, the crap under here. I've got to sort this wiring out. Oh, there it is. So here's the plug end. If I plug this noisy bloody thing in, you see that that's set to 16.8 volts and it's set to 1 amp. So if I plug this in now, and I press start. You see it's saying it's at 15.4 volts at the minute, so that will charge that at 1 amp up to 16.8 volts. That's the voltage of the battery at the minute. So that will keep charging that until 16.8 volts and it will stop, basically. So, I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? <laughs> Anyway, it's an easy solution to a problem that never really existed. Yeah. Now on the underside of this, usually the FET, there's a, there's a FET here, uh, and the FET actually attaches to this heat sink here, and there's a fan that goes and blows on the side. But I've noticed that when you're doing high voltage, high current, it doesn't actually cool it so. I put the bloody great heat sink off a pen. I think it's a Pentium 4 heat sink on the underside, and that works fantastically. Much quieter, much cooler. I hope. So this is a simple solution. As I say, you can plug that into your car battery or a 12 volt battery of any kind, and it will ramp the voltage up to whatever you say. You plug your battery into there, and it will charge it to whatever you say on here. These are only 13 quid, the eye charger and the rest of the chargers, actually I'll unplug that, the rest of the chargers and everything, far more expensive, simple solution for an infield charger.